Hey there, welcome to TechCutBeat. In today's video, I'm gonna explain about different parts of an URL. Before I start explaining, I request you to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so that you won't miss any of my future updates. An URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. It's a web address that uses a mechanism of identifying a particular website in the network and retrieve the desired information. A typical URL starts with HTTP or HTTPS. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP uses request and response mechanism. It requests a web page from the website server and the website server responds by sending the web page in the form of hypertext. S in HTTPS stands for secure. If you are browsing a website with HTTPS, all your activity on that particular website gets encrypted, which means it's very difficult to hack. Next to HTTP, we have www, which is World Wide Web. It's just a notion that tells that you are trying to access a particular website from the World Wide Web. Immediately after that, you can see a website name like facebook.com, google.com or youtube.com. These are called domain names. We have top level domains like .com, .org and .net. .com is for commercial websites, .org is for non-profit organizations. And we have country specific domains like .in, .uk and .us. The forward slash in the URL represents the path of the particular files in the server. The word followed by the forward slash represents the folder name in the web server. A question mark in the URL says that you are trying to ping a query. I mean the string followed by the question mark is the query. If you are trying to ping multiple queries, these queries are separated by ampersand. A string followed by the hash represents the specific portion of the same web page. For example, visit Wikipedia and click on any of the table of contents, then it navigates to the specific portion on the same web page. In websites which provide online storage like Google Drive or iCloud, a string followed by hash represents a particular folder name in that drive. Some websites allow username and password in the URL itself so that you can directly log into that particular website. But secure websites like google.com and facebook.com don't allow the users to log in through the URL. That's all folks, I hope now you know different parts of an URL. If you enjoyed watching my video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to receive the notifications of my future videos. Talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.